kind of gave him this Christmas. Jill Lewis wanted to give her loved ones a meaningful gift that would keep giving. It would be something from the heart. She came up with the idea to create keepsake boxes out of wood that had special meaning to her late father and grandfather. There were only about four boards that were remaining of it. So there were quite, you know, it was a really large tree originally. She's talking about a walnut tree at her grandparents' house in South Dakota. The tree was cut down years ago, and her dad and grandpa built many things out of it together. They bonded over a shared love of woodworking. Jill's mom found remnants of the tree when cleaning out her garage earlier this year. If I looked at my, what my father you know, thought was really important of his belongings, this would be the wood would be it. Her dad passed away two years ago and her grandpa has been gone for about 20 years, but their memories live on. It goes back to all the all the time and, and love and effort they put into all these other projects and to see something that people would remember them by once they're gone. I mean, don't we all want something to be remembered for? John Gilcrest of Rockler Woodworking and Hardware worked with Jill to turn her vision into reality. It was a labor of love. He chipped away at it on his days off, little by little since May. Fueled by Jill's story to build precious family heirlooms from the treasured wood. It resonated with me, it struck a chord. In total, there are now six handmade boxes. It's like satin. Jill kept one for herself. Oh, it's ex extraordinary. She plans to put some of her father's ashes in another. The rest were given as Christmas presents to family. For anybody with loss, the holidays are always hard, so you try to find ways to compensate for that loss. This project has been healing for Jill amid her grief and she hopes the touching tribute carries on her dad and grandpa's legacies for generations to come. And they'll know that it was from their, their grandfather, their great grandfather, and hopefully you know, that, that it will last for millennia. Jill tells me her mom is opening up her gift after five, and she knows that will be an emotional moment when she sees what Jill's been working on all of these months. But we do have a couple photos to share of some of her cousins and aunt with their new boxes after they opened up their gifts this Christmas. She hopes her family keeps objects of love inside the boxes, things like jewelry, letters, maybe concert or movie tickets from a special date, really anything that is meaningful to them. Oh, so her mom just opened the box then, nine minutes ago. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, we'll have to check in with Jill and, and see how it went. Aww. But one of the other things that I thought was kind of cool about this story, John, the guy that was creating the boxes, mm -hmm. he was telling me how he kind of feels a kinship for Jill's dad and grandfather because they all have that shared love of woodworking. Right and just kind of a shared appreciation for this kind of wood specifically. So it was very meaningful for him to take part in this. Yeah, I was wondering where the walnut tree grew. So it's up <laughs> in South Dakota, so it's made its way all the way down. She literally created a family heirloom. Yeah. Yes. And they'll think of those guys every time they open that box, no matter what they decide to put in it. Mm. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's Brilliant idea. Yeah. yeah, I love, love the story. <laughs> all right, we're good Thanks, now. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs>